Welcome to the Pericardi Podcast. This week, we will help you and your staff save time and money and reduce the number of calls you make to your IT support team. With duplicate files and email communications, as well as lots of jargon to read through, information can be in multiple places and even on a computer that you might not have access to. Before we carry on, how much time do you think you are losing each day? In this video, we'll help you save time. So stay tuned and listen to these five tips. Tip number one, files everywhere. Now, unlike saving files on your computer, on email, even on your phone, or printing out notes, you can use SharePoint to keep the information in one place, allowing you to open and edit the files on the move. With SharePoint Online, you can access files from a computer you rarely even use, your mobile phone, and even when you're out and about whilst on your 4G or 3G telephone connection. Now, some of you would say, how does that benefit me? Now, one of our customers works in the building trade. And when they have a project, they need to look at the plans and the quotes while with the customer on site. They don't want to take shed loads of paper with scribbles on there with the total of the quote and printing out drawings on A3 paper. Having access to their phone and access to the files using the phone, they can open this information, zoom in and out of the drawings and give their customer an idea of what the final project will look like and the costumes. Tip number two, picture gallery. Earlier we talked about the building trade now, if we keep all the pictures in a picture gallery within SharePoint, we can utilize the picture gallery for swiping pictures left and right, open, you know, accessing all pictures for one project, rather than going into a separate folder, locating emails with attachments, um, and see the transition from start to finish. Not only does this mean that you're not duplicating files in multiple locations, keeps emails to a minimum and saves the company money for paying for less storage. Tip number three, backups. Have you ever worked with a document and noticed some of the changes were lost? Now working in a team, you might add some content one day and another member of your team may add more content, but in the process might have lost a paragraph of information from the, from the document. When you come back to the document, you want to remember what that content was in that file. With SharePoint, there's a feature called version. This allows you to see every time a file was saved, who saved it, and when they saved it. So you could go back a day or two, open the earlier copy of the file, and grab the information that was lost. Add it to the new document, and off you go. This means that you don't need to speak to your IT team to recover a backup of files and in that time wait for them to get back to you. With versioning you can do all of this yourself in a matter of minutes. Tip number four, shared contacts. Historically when you're working with customers, suppliers and outside parties you may have some of this information stored in your contacts. You might have it stored in a file. 
multiple team members may have some information that other team members don't. By having this information in multiple places, not only does it mean that you don't know what the information, which information is up to date, but it also means that to keep it up to date, you have to update everyone who has a copy of that information. Having shared contacts in SharePoint allows everyone to access the same information, update the information in one place, and the great thing about SharePoint is when you've got a shared contact list in SharePoint, you can just click on the email or the telephone number and start a conversation with the person or the telephone number. You can start that conversation. Tip number five, search. When you store files on your computer, on a server, maybe even on your email system or other places, you want to locate that information, you're going to search in three or more locations. With SharePoint, one search could search your entire contacts, your documents, and even the contents of those documents. This not only means that you're doing one search and searching multiple places, but it means that you've got the information you need, whether it's a contact, whether it's a picture, whether it's a file, in one search result. This can save considerable amounts of time locating the information you need and means that you don't have to learn multiple systems and you don't have to learn multiple ways to search in different applications. If you would like to find out more information about SharePoint or Office 365, please check out these tips in more detail. You can even contact us on the details below. Click on subscribe to find out future videos from our team. Please also like and share our videos with someone you know that could benefit. Thanks for watching and have a great day.